Picket lines formed outside studios in Los Angeles and New York as thousands of writers downed tools in a strike over pay and conditions in the streaming era. Late night shows fronted by the likes of Jimmy Kimmel, Seth Meyers and Stephen Colbert were expected to be the first casualties as 11,000 union members walked off the job for the first time in 15 years. The strike, which could hit television series and movies scheduled for release later this year if it continues, came after talks between the Writers Guild of America, WGA, and the Studios Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers, AMPTP, collapsed. The WGA said the studio's response to its proposals had been wholly insufficient given the existential crisis writers are facing. The last time Hollywood writers laid down their pens, in 2007, the strike lasted for 100 days and cost LA's entertainment economy around $2 billion. Writers say it is becoming impossible to earn a living, as salaries have flatlined or declined after inflation, even as employers reap profits and fatten executive paychecks. More writers than ever are working at the union-mandated minimum wage. As talks collapsed, the WGA accused studios of seeking to create a gig economy in which writing would become an entirely freelance profession. For decades, writers have been paid residuals from each reuse of their material, such as television reruns or DVD sales.